All right, I'm standing at the front door of the three bedroom side of the duplex. Um, off to the left, there's the one bedroom side. So you've got a fenced front and side. Um, notice the big old beautiful house that was built just recently across the street. Then as you turn to the side here, you'll see there's some mobile homes uh, mixed in with some other traditional homes. Then this driveway that goes here along the right side um, brings you to some other mobile homes. And this is your little driveway area um, on the right here for the property. So the outside obviously is the asbestos shingle. Uh, the trim is what they had put in the seller's disclosure as needing to be replaced. And so here's a good example on this side. This is just squishy, um, so totally rotted out. Older windows, of course. Every room has its own little window unit. There are some little chips on the outside on the asbestos shingle. Um, so let's go inside and have a look at the inside. So immediately as you come in, this is your living area. They painted the hardwood floors. Um, it's too bad, it probably would be kind of cool to have a nice hardwood floors in here that, you know, give it more character. Uh, this wood paneling is another good example of what, if you just painted this, I think it would really give it a much newer, more updated feeling. You've got gold fixtures, just, you know, this was has been a rental, I'm assuming, for a while, and they haven't put a whole lot of uh, touches into it. But the floors look solid. I haven't seen any issues um, in the flooring. There are a couple of areas where it, it probably um, leans a little bit. And uh, with a home of this age, that's not too crazy or um, surprising. So here as I'm at a crossroads, to the right is where you go to a couple of bedrooms. I'll go down there in a minute. Um, straight ahead is the full bathroom and a bedroom. On my left, this is storage, so you have storage closet areas. And up top here, there's additional storage, uh, which is nice. The electric, this is a cutler hammer. Um, so it looks like a good panel from what I can just tell visually. Plenty of space for expansion on it. Um, bedroom number one is right here. Again, every room has their own little window unit. Um, ceiling fans in most of the rooms. Again, the floors, for the most part, all these hardwood floors have been painted. A uh, little closet is right here behind the door. It gives you a little view there. Then bathroom. Uh, this is another closet right here. Linen closet, I would call it. They've got a vinyl linoleum floor right here. A little vanity. Um, tiled shower. Water pressure seems good, you know, it's on city water. Um, so you've got a good amount of water pressure. This is an old, I think, cast iron tub. So real solid. It looks like they've painted it at some point. Um, the tile work here, you see some little cracks. Um, nothing too crazy. It looks to be functional. Uh, probably just need a little bit of caulking in the corners maybe is what I could see. Um, all right, now let's move over to the kitchen. As you come into the kitchen, this door, the black door straight ahead of you, that's to that side um, driveway. So for the most part, you'd be parking on that side, have two or three car spaces um, coming in your side door. And then here's the kitchen. Um, the tenants just moved out a, day, a couple days ago. So they've just been in the process of cleaning up and all of that. So nothing real huge. You've got painted cabinetry up above, no microwave, there is a stove, no dishwasher. Uh, they've replaced the bottom cabinetry there at some point. Um, this floor is a vinyl plank. Uh, I wanted to see what this is. Ah, so this is an old panel. This may have been replaced, I'm assuming, um, since they have that other panel in the hallway. This is the floor that has a little bit of a lean to me. If you look at that, um, pantry, well the pantry is where they have the um, refrigerator. It looks like it's slanting a little bit to the left so there's it's a little dip for sure in the flooring here. 
this is probably a yeah so this actually has quite a bit of space um, I don't know if they just moved this to clean it hmm. it's on and it's cold so I'm not sure if that was part of the plan just to have it there you could potentially put the refrigerator in this back corner right there and have more room in the pantry so all right let's check out the last couple of bedrooms coming back that's to the front door where I started the video now as I'm coming down this hallway uh, bedroom number two same type of setup basically nothing real huge probably 10 by 10 or 10 by 11 so just not a real big bedroom there is a good amount of storage which is kind of neat uh, for this size you've got probably three four um, five closets which is pretty wild here's another hall closet uh, this was probably where the duplex was connected, so that leads to the other side. Um, it's closed off, obviously. And here you can see the wood floors, um, ceiling fan, little closet. All the closets are real small. But here's a good idea, um, a good image of the hardwood flooring. So, again, if they were sanded down, I'm assuming you could make them really gleam. Um, and that would be something that I think would improve value. So painting, uh, paneling, if you wanted to do the hardwood floors, you could, but just a white paint job or gray, you know, kind of the new coloring throughout the house will probably make a big difference. And that's it for the three bedroom.